Wow, that's a lot for this little space. There's no closet space. It's pretty small. Um, it is really small, however. You think this is a small bedroom? Kim is a psychology PhD student who's just moved to the big city for a one-year internship. I'm living right now with my friend AJ in this really small apartment. Just filled in. I've been here about a month and I am staying on the couch. Problem is, she knows very little about this city or where she wants to live. I've been working on my thesis at least minimum eight hours a day, which gives me little no time to look at this city. When you're moving from a small town or city to a thriving metropolis, you're going to be in for a few surprises. First, apartments will probably cost you more, and you'll find you get far less space for the money. This city is really big and different, and I've been searching, looking, calling, trying to make appointments, and right now, I had zero luck. Did you find anything? In Kim's case, she's a single woman in a big city, so I feel a real responsibility to put her in the right place. Someplace that's safe, a desirable neighborhood that she could really settle into. Okay, this is where I do most of my cooking. All right, how's the size? Um, it's workable, but I had bigger, um, but it's, it's okay. All right, <laughs> let's see the rest of the place. This is the bathroom, and over here is AJ's bedroom. Okay. And Jody, this is where I spend a lot of my time, once again, in the living room slash bedroom. This is a very small space for two singles to share. How's it going? Well, there has been some compromises. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like we need to get you a new rental. Definitely. AJ, what would you say your role has been? Tour guide. <laughs> so. Okay steering her towards the more safe neighborhoods. It's a very important job. Yes, it is. <laughs> what have you been finding so far? Very small places in the central area, very expensive. So what's on your wish list? Um, a really big kitchen, because I love to cook, and new appliances would be great. I'm looking for uh, a modern bathroom, because I love to take bubble baths, a space where I could have my office outside of my bedroom. So it'll give me time using the, utilizing the bedroom just for relaxing and sleeping. And I'm looking for a place that has a balcony. Wow, that's an awful long wish list. OK, and where do we need to find this palace? I'm looking for the central area downtown, so it's easy to walk to work. What's your budget? Well, my max is 1300 Wow! <laughs> uh, what size was the place that you're coming from? Um, over 800 square feet. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a very low budget for, for this city, for the type of space that you're looking for in this city. So it's not surprising to me that you're having a difficult time finding something. Some people would refer me as picky, but I think I'm just a woman that knows what she wants. <laughs> OK. Well, I think I have my uh, work cut out for me with this one. So I will get myself to work and see what I can find. And I promise you, I'll only show you the best in the city. Thanks, Jody. Kim calls herself a woman who knows what she likes. I call her a woman who's been enjoying the benefits of a very affordable small city. My biggest challenge here will be adjusting her expectations to the realities of the local rental market. We're definitely excited about going on the tours and seeing more, exploring more of the city and seeing what's out there. Before renting in a new city, you should research which neighborhoods might fit your interests and lifestyle. If you're moving to a large city, try to narrow down your search to a few preferred areas. And the best way to get a real sense of a neighborhood is to explore it on foot. I'm showing Kim an apartment that's perfect for a young renter new to the city. This is downtown living at its best. If Kim wants to get the most out of her big city experience, this is it. Kim, it does not get more downtown than this. We are right in between the entertainment and business districts and a five minute walk to the farmer's market, which I'm sure you would absolutely enjoy. Yes. And you're about a 15 minute walk to work. Oh, that's wonderful. Happy? Very happy. The building is also very well known for its gorgeous amenities and fabulous rooftop decks. Wonderful. Let's have a look inside. Great. Come on in. Okay. 
So this is laundry right here, double stack, and three huge closets. Definitely like that. <laughs> What do you think of this open concept living area? You've got a separate space for dining, a separate space for a living, and even a little spot for an office. I like the fact that there's a spot for an office. I do like the living area. I like the fact that there's a place for my dining room set, um, the living area where I could put my sofa, as well as the space where I could put my desk to do my work. What does the chef think about this? Um, the kitchen is a little bit small. I don't feel that I could entertain very well in the kitchen. I appreciate that there is a dishwasher. I do think that some of the appliances are a bit outdated, though. What we could do is put a clause in your lease that says that as soon as an appliance quits, it gets replaced with a new one within 48 hours. Sounds great. You're kind of hoping they all die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. So there's a separate shower. OK. And tub. Oh, OK. So the tub area could be exclusively for bubble baths. Yeah, it does look really spacious, and I do like that. However, this bathroom does look like it needs a bit of a cleaning. I feel that even after a really thorough clean, that there's a lot of grime and slime in the bathroom that I'm not sure if I could actually clean it to par. So this, Kim, is the bedroom. Oh my, this is really small. Mm -hmm. I feel claustrophobic. This bedroom's tiny. Directly to the left was a wall, directly to the right is a wall. I have no idea where I'm gonna put my stuff in that bedroom. So, can you live without all of your bedroom furniture? Um, well, if there's a way to work it, maybe. See, because this is what I was thinking for this room. I'll paint one accent wall a bright color, which will make the room appear bigger. A large tufted headboard will give the space warmth and a touch of elegance. Night tables with a few drawers will create extra storage and hanging lamps will free up surface space. I'll install colorful blinds for privacy and darkness and soften the look with rich drapery panels. So with that design, do you think you could live here? Um, maybe. Well, if we compare this place with your wish list, it does stack up fairly decently for a $13.25 inclusive. Wow, that's a lot for this little space. I laughed when I heard that price. I couldn't believe how much it was. It's really, really expensive. What you're paying for is the location and the amenities. Security, too. Yeah. Kim was quite allured by the 24-hour concierge and the luxury amenities offered in this luxury condo. And then I revealed a price that she found enormous, and I think she was turned right off. If space is a priority, you may have to consider expanding your search area. To get Kim the square footage she wants at a price she can afford, I'm showing her a rental that's a little further uptown. She'll get the entire main floor of a renovated house. I think she'll love it. So Kim, I know walking to work was a big priority for you. This place is a little too far for that. It would be about a 45 minute walk, so you'd have to leave early. It is kind of far, but I'm interested to look at the place. Come on in. Thanks. So this would be your living room. Oh, okay. It's pretty small, this room, but um, I do like the big window, but I don't like the view because it faces a brick wall. Okay. Well, I think you're going to really like the kitchen. Let's have a peek. OK. So what do you think? I really love this kitchen. It's really big. It gives me a lot of room to cook. Pretty new appliances you had there, too. So Definitely. Something you were... And a big stove. Yes. So I could do a lot of baking as well. And what do you think about this lovely backyard? It is beautiful, but um, I'm allergic to grass, so I don't know how much time I'll be spending out there. No way! <laughs> what a downer. <laughs> OK, the place does have a shared laundry room, and it's just off of this door, so I'll show that to Great. you. So there is two brand new coin op machines in here. I'm not really sure about that coin operated washer and dryer. It's a bit of a task, kind of, to go to the bank and get coins. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the bathroom. Wow. I really like it. Really? It's really spacious. That bathroom is amazing. Yeah, that's like a grown-up's bathroom in terms of the size and everything that it had in it. Yeah. I think I could spend a lot of time taking uh, relaxing bubble baths in here and enjoying them. Good. Let's see if the master bedroom will keep you happy. Great. <laughs> 
Um, it is really small, however. You think this is a small bedroom? There's no closet space. I don't know where I'm gonna put all my clothes, all my shoes, and I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put my desk to do work in the living room. I can solve that, no problem. Let's have another look at the living room. Okay. Kim's right, she'll have to put her desk in the bedroom, but I can make the small living space work really well for her. A large armoire will hide the television and create extra storage. To maximize space in this small room, I'll use neutral paint tones and add splashes of color in the furniture and accessories. A small pull-out love seat will create a sleeping area for guests while taking up minimal floor space. And wooden shutters in the bay window will give privacy while keeping the area open. Now you have to think about this place as compared to your wish list. So at $1,200 per month inclusive is a steal. What do you think? The price is really good. Mm-hmm. But I think I have to think about it some more. <laughs> OK. I am worried about the location. 50-minute walk, that is a long walk. The price is amazing. $1,200 all-inclusive. Can't go wrong there. You can't go wrong there at all. When someone's new to the city, it's my job to show them a variety of different rentals available. Here, I was testing Kim out in a quiet, safe, residential neighborhood. Turns out, she's allergic to the one thing that really makes a residential neighborhood, grass. Kim really wants to experience city living, so she needs a true downtown rental. Finding a large apartment right in the city center on her tight budget isn't going to be easy but I found a spacious rental in a perfect location. Because it's in an older building, the apartment is great value for its size. I'm really excited to show you this place, mostly because of the location. We are right downtown in the middle of all of the hustle bustle that downtown has to offer. I think this unit is in a prime location. Seven minutes to walk to work, great stores around, restaurants, I love to eat. I mean, who could ask for anything more? It's got a wonderful gym, it's got a rooftop terrace, but this condo doesn't have balconies. Do you think the rooftop terrace could work for you? Maybe. Well, let's get you inside and see if you like. Okay. So come on in, check out the place. Okay. There's definitely a lot of cupboard space, so I like that. Um, but the appliances are a bit outdated. Not really what you're looking for, right? It's not what I expected. Right. Check out the bathroom. It's definitely spacious. And I really like um, the bathtub looks really spacious too. Do you notice what's in the bathtub? Uh, there's jets. Yeah, it's definitely. a huge perk. Yeah. So here's the living dining space. It's pretty small. Really? I really like to entertain. And I'm not sure with all my furniture how I'm going to get everyone relaxed and feel comfortable within the space that I have. There are easy fixes to make this room work as a dining room and a living room that you can turn into a bedroom when you've got guests here. I'll infuse this room with lots of life by using tons of rich textures and tones. A grouping of three small tables will serve as both a coffee table and individual serving tables for parties. And I'll add some sparkle and international flavor by hanging a jewel-toned chandelier and accenting the space with sequin pillows and mirrors. Well, carpets aren't my preference. Um, I really like carpet floors. It's easy maintenance. And it did look really dirty. OK, now the landlord here has said that he will steam clean the, the, the carpeting. So would that help? That would help, definitely. Still not my preference. I'm not 100% sold on the carpets. OK. So, my dear, you would have your own separate office that's neither in your bedroom or your living room. I really need a dedicated spot where I could just concentrate and do all my work. And that office space really works for me. But there is a nice separate bedroom with a lovely closet. I definitely like the closet. There is um, room to hang my clothes, even put my shoes in there if I wanted to. It does have a lot going for it. but. That comes at a price when you want to be in a prime neighborhood. So the landlord here is asking $1,450 per month. 
Wow. I think that's a little high. So I would imagine we might be able to negotiate him down a little bit. That said, do you think this could work? We're going to have to think about it, because um, see if I could work it in my budget. Mm -hmm. But maybe. This condo is in the perfect location for Kim, and it has the perfect layout, too. Too bad the price is not so perfect. Kim is a student and new to the city, so I'm helping her find the perfect downtown rental. I'm looking for the central area downtown, so it's easy to walk to work. She's looked at three great apartments. Now it's time to choose one. So will it be the luxury apartment with this small bedroom? This spacious, renovated house? Or the one-bedroom condo with the den? Which one will be Kim's new downtown home? What did you think about the one bedroom in the really posh building? It had a lot of great amenities, which I really appreciate, but I really didn't like that bedroom. Um, it was really, really small. So the place that I was most excited to show you today was the house. One thing I really loved about the house was the big kitchen. But the, the thing I didn't love about the house that it didn't give me um, a lot of closet and storage space. OK. What about the sort of uptown condo that was one bedroom plus a den that could, you could use as your office? I really like that plus den. Yeah. I like the fact that that was I didn't have to work in my living space. OK. It was also the most expensive place that I showed you. Yes. So if we could rule one of them out, which one would it be? Um, I think definitely the, um, the condo the, in the posh building, for sure. I would rule that one out right away. So will Kim choose the spacious house uptown or the downtown one bedroom plus den? So which one's your favorite? I really do love the one bedroom plus den. The most expensive one? The most expensive one. But if I can negotiate the price, I think that's the one I would choose. OK, so we need to build up some ammunition to be able to convince the landlord that he should give it to you at a lower price. Number one, start with flattery. I love the unit. I saw it. I can really see myself living there. So if you're telling the landlord, I like what you've got. Second, uh, you could talk about the condition that the place is in, that the carpets really should be replaced, and how fabulous you are. <laughs> so why don't you give the landlord a shout and talk about those three things. Hi, this is Kim, and I just came to see... Kim took my advice when she called the landlord. When she told him how much she loves the apartment and sold him on what a great tenant she'd be, he was more than willing to negotiate. See you soon. Thanks. Bye. He's um, willing to negotiate the price. He would like to see me this evening to go through um, my concerns and to see what could be done. And um, he's actually keen on, he was like for sure about the carpets, the scene cleaning. All right, and I can't wait to get my hands on your living dining room <laughs> if you get that place. Great, thank you. The negotiating tips I shared with Kim today are ones I learned as a little girl asking for ice cream. Flattery first, get some buy-in, and then go for the prize. I met the landlord, he liked me, everything worked out, and I'm paying $1,400 a month, all inclusive. Because Kim is new to the city and didn't have any help with her move, she had to be very organized. She started early with her smaller, personal items, so she could be there when the professional movers arrived with the furniture she had in storage. Kim's new downtown apartment was a little bland, so I'm giving it a makeover that will reflect her lifestyle and personality. We gave the walls a pick-me-up with a warm, neutral color. By painting and stenciling some simple wooden tables, I'm creating functional and colorful stools for the living area. Tailored and stylish curtains will update the tired old blinds in the space. Stapling graphic fabric to a wood frame is a thrifty way to create custom art. And we're personalizing an inexpensive light fixture with some glamorous coordinating crystal accents. Come see your new space. Wow. I love that. That's gorgeous. I really gorgeous. like that. It's beautiful. I've never seen such a chandelier like that. So then there's the mirror as well. Ooh. Yeah, I really like it. I like the pattern of the mirror too. Yeah, it gives some texture. Yeah. And then for another piece of art, we just stretched printed fabric over a canvas. Wow, that's amazing. I like that. 
Although the walls are quite neutral, I added some zing and bling through brightly colored patterns and accessories. And moving on to the living room, here's where we get lots of our pops of color. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the stools? I think they're really great. I like red, so that's great. Fantastic. <laughs> I wanted to define the living area as compared to the dining area. So even though you've got carpeting in here, I gave you a rug that really shows this is the living space. It's interesting because like there is so many colors, but it's not overwhelming. Good. I love my living area. I love the bright colors. It's really soothing. With Kim's very busy schedule, I wanted to give her a space that she could just chill out in. If she needs to get down to business, she can go to her dedicated office space and close the doors. So here's your separate office space. Wow. Can you work here? I definitely well. could get a lot of work done here. Now we put out some of your books. Mm -hmm. Certainly not all of them. <laughs> it looks really good. I love it. I hope this space brings Kim some comfort and maybe a little inspiration. The feel of the space is really warm. Um, it's really inviting. I love to entertain. I love to invite people. Um, and I think it will welcome everyone that comes in as well. I like the office space. And I like that you've got, you know, a place that you can actually really shut the door and concentrate. Yeah, definitely. And I'll get my PhD soon enough. <laughs> This makeover came in at around $950, the bulk of the money being spent in the living room, where we dressed up Kim's existing futon with brightly colored cushions and paired them with three Moroccan-inspired coffee tables. I know this place is a lot smaller than what you're used to, but I hope it really helps you feel at home here in our city. Definitely. I love what you've done to this place. Fantastic. Well, it's been a pleasure working with you. You too. Enjoy. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you.